Exploring the potential of hallucinogens for treating opioid use disorder. Opioid use disorder has been on the rise in the USA, fueled by an increased availability of fentanyl and other opioids. Current gold standard treatments involve using opioid agonist drugs, such as methadone or buprenorphine alone or in combination with opioid antagonists, to address cravings and withdrawal. However, these treatments suffer from high levels of patient relapse and can pose safety risks. One criticism is that such treatments do not address the underlying mental health and socio-economic difficulties that may be driving opioid addiction. A promising alternative lies in using hallucinogenic compounds that can enable neuroplasticity, which means changing the brain's neural architecture, potentially allowing patients to overcome their addictive behaviours. However, prohibition and stigma surrounding these substances have hampered scientific research into their therapeutic use. In a recent article, Drs. Mary Hornick and Ashley Stefanski at Roosevelt University appraised the current evidence for hallucinogen use in opioid use disorder and discussed future perspectives. The researchers began by discussing the multifaceted nature of opioid use disorder, which involves a host of socio-economic and psychological factors, from legal and financial troubles to severe mental health issues and relationship problems. Given this complex pathology, a treatment encompassing a range of effects may have significant potential. Hallucinogens may represent such a treatment, as they can rapidly induce neuroplasticity that may lead to long-term changes in a patient's behaviour and outlook. The personal insights that occur during treatment with hallucinogens also contribute to positive psychological effects. The researchers discuss a variety of hallucinogenic substances, their mechanisms of action, evidence for efficacy and safety issues. For instance, ibogaine is a compound derived from the root bark of an African shrub, which induces a dreamlike state. As discovered by recreational users in the 1960s, ibogaine can reduce opioid withdrawals and enable long-term abstinence. Another drug they discuss is ketamine, an anaesthetic primarily used in veterinary medicine. Multiple doses of ketamine alongside psychotherapy resulted in 50% of patients remaining opioid-free after one year. Classic psychedelic drugs including LSD, ayahuasca and psilocybin are also covered in the article. These compounds produce altered states of consciousness and rapid neuroplasticity, with subsequent brain changes that can reduce the tendency for addictive behaviours. Hornick and Stefanski suggest that hallucinogens have significant promise in treating opioid use disorder, even in patients with treatment-resistant addiction issues. However, prohibition and stigma are key stumbling blocks to progress. There is a clear need for further robust research to establish the potential and safety of these drugs, and a change in their legal status may be required to achieve this. Thank you.